to the wastewater treatment plant, I moved for $13,880,000 and consider it read as written. Thank you. Is there a second on that? Mr. Henderson. Steve Henderson seconded. Moved by Tim. The number is 13880000. Now, if I could request uh, Chris and or Jen to tell me the essence of this one article. You may request that, if you would, please. Um, I'll start, and then I'll let Chris fill in. Go right ahead. Uh, because he knows this plant uh, inside and out. But this Warren article stems from the Wright Pierce uh, facility study that was completed uh, this past year that made recommendations in three separate phases. All these phases uh, were based on level of need, uh, safety, uh, and process uh, constraints or capabilities that we currently have at the plant. Uh, so after a long and quite intensive study of all our uh, processes, our equipment, our pumps, the fact that uh, I'm sure you've seen the presentations we've done uh, before uh, of some of the older equipment that we have, that these phase one improvements have been uh, listed, and that's what's listed in the long part of the Warren article for the 13880000 that identify all the different components that would be uh, improved and upgraded as part of this Warren article. Uh, we also, uh, as uh, yesterday, presented an action plan how we'd like to move forward uh, with public uh, education about this article about how a wastewater treatment plant, uh, plant process works, uh, why these improvements are needed. These are not wants. Uh, these go to address the capabilities from aeration and headworks to the raw pumps and intakes to ventilation, the air that uh, we're breathing <coughs> in the plant, to the way uh, our plant is set up uh, from a safety standpoint, making sure that we have the right um, fire systems, alarm systems, backup systems. Uh, without the wastewater treatment plant, uh, waste does not get processed. Um, it's fairly simple in that nature, uh, and having the older equipment and these systems that provide a non-safe environment are something that just plainly need to be addressed. That's the uh, beautiful sure, overview mm -hmm. uh, in layman's, the technical side. and, and let me adjust, address a question that was raised last night by, I believe, someone who gives technical advice to some members of the board. And that, and one of the questions was raised last night, what has changed in the last several years that puts all of a sudden the plant at its limit? Because the plant used to be about a 4.7 MGD million gallons a day plant. It's, it's rated at about a 4 million today. Um, that, that never has really changed. The, the, um, they, they'll tell you, and our plant size is 4.7 million, but you're only allowed to, on a daily basis, treat about 80% of your capacity. They don't, basically don't want you overfilling the bathtub in layman's terms. What changed in 2014 was the state recognized that everybody in the state was putting in breweries. Summersworth had a, has one now. Uh, Concord has a couple. Uh, Portsmouth has several. And we have one. And what those breweries do is they send not a lot of volume water to the, to the plant, but they send a lot of strength <coughs> water. Uh, it's uh, high strength, what we call high strength waste. It's very biologically active uh, in, in layman's terms. So the state amended their rules back in uh, 2014, and it basically says uh, that, yes, your plant capacity is 80% of its design load, what its design capacity is, and also um, that you can't exceed 80% of what's known as its BOD load, and that short, short for biological oxygen demand, how much air you can push into your waste to clean it because basically our plant operates on aeration. We have four big treatment lagoons or bathtubs. Um, we pump $160,000 worth of uh, uh, use of electricity to pump air through that, and it's the air and the bugs that reduce the, the effluent, or, or <coughs> and it equals its BOD. So when you throw in high-strength waste, like 
let's say from a slaughterhouse or from a, uh, a, a brewery <coughs> or uh, an industrial facility that, let's say, makes bread and, and discharges a lot of waste with milk and eggs in it, um, it takes more oxygen, it uses up more of the plant's capacity. So in 2014, the state basically said they added another line to the, to the limit, and it said um, if you, can, you cannot exceed 80% of your BOD load for three, more than 90 consecutive days. We're bouncing against that limit. We do it for about 60 days. Uh, we have uh, in uh, 16. Uh, we have in 15. And we've been working with those several industrial users that we have to manage or reduce our BOD load to keep us just under that limit. So the short of it is that for the town to continue to grow, we need to expand the size of the aeration lagoons and other things, pumps, uh, piping systems, uh, filtration systems, all those associated things that go along with the major aeration portion of the plant. And that's why if you look at the, there's 12 separate things or items contained within the uh, scope of work of what we want to get done. Six million of the 13 million is just the aeration lagoons themselves. That's in, uh, in I'll open it up for questions. Thank you. Thank, wait, so, hold on. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Did somebody have some I questions? I believe I had the floor. Uh, you got to be recognized by the chair. I first. believe I had it when I asked for the oh, essence okay. and then was going to follow okay. up with the questions. You have the floor now, Tim. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome. So the essence of this is to improve the wastewater treatment plant. This is, as I understand it, phase one of three. Is that correct? Correct. And each one is approximately the same price tag. Correct. Um, and the other two will be a similar warrant article in subsequent years? Is that what the expectation is? Yes. So we're going to be getting a $13.8 million uh, bond request this year, next year? No. Okay. Help me <coughs> in subsequent years, but and I said yes, but do you want me to spend? I, no one knows the number of years. It could be, it's going to be difficult to spend $13 okay, let me, million let me in try one to year. Let approach it from a different angle. Okay. How long is it going to take you to finish this work? I don't know. You have presentations and detail uh, scheduled for a number of bodies, correct? Right. Uh, and, and those will be concluded by, those presentations will be concluded by what date? So we did a presentation for the Board of Selectmen November 13th. That one you can find on Channel 22. Yeah. We will be presenting in front of the Planning Board tomorrow. It will now, be the same presentation it or will, it will be, be an improved presentation? It will be the same presentation with a little bit more, more including detail. our action plan of how we plan to move forward. Right. Okay. And then from there, so starting after tomorrow and after the holidays, we'll work on a rollout uh, for some videos of the plant, some sign-ups for people to come down and do tours, as well as a question and answer period before deliberative session. Uh, that we'll set up that will be open to any residents that want to come and ask specific questions so it, they don't have to feel at a meeting or a board meeting okay. um, to do it. And we'll answer those questions as well. So it will be a rollout of continuous information and hopefully understanding for people to fully understand what this facility's so, improvements are. So tomorrow night you go on to the planning board Correct. with a more detailed presentation. Than Slightly last more night. detailed, but it is the basic presentation so of the 12 components. It's going to include components. implementation details, isn't it? Yep. Right. which is what I was just asking. Well, to, and this uh, study is online, so for anybody yeah, who wants to study, read it. Yeah. More specifically yeah. answer your question, how do you, it, it will not really be feasible or reasonable for us to spend all $13.8 in one year. Um, looking at the screen, things like um, about halfway down the screen, primary sludge pump upgrade, you can actually replace or design that pump standalone from other projects. Same thing with the thickened, thickened sludge pump transfer replacement, the polymer system upgrade. Those are more, while not inexpensive, more easily wrap your hands around. The first one, which said uh, headworks upgrades and aeration tank upgrade, probably will take the rest of 18 to even design and get approved by DES. 
Well, I approached it from the angle, how long we do this work, because I was trying to get from my previous question, which you couldn't answer. I was just trying to get a little more background. Right. But so, my real concern is uh, what I and, and the voters and the taxpayers should anticipate going forward. The context of this is actually one of three phases. Right. And, and really, we kind of have a black hole with regard to phase two and phase three in terms of timing, right? Right. And, and it's because it's based upon timing, growth of the, the, the water that we see actually coming at the plant, how, how quickly the town is growing, a number of factors that my crystal ball. Yeah, the growth thing, want. I want to ask you a question right. on that. But let me finish on the, sure. the, the first part. So the voters need to understand that while we'll borrow the 13.8 or get authority to borrow it, hopefully in March, um, portions of it will be let in 18 and portions of it will be let in 19, and we might still be constructing in the year 20. Sure. And at about maybe 20 or 21, we may then be formulating, okay, this is the next step. But let me caution you in that the phase two and phase three, while they can be quantified now, may actually change mm -hmm. four years out, five years out. And the actual phase three, I think I'll be retired before we actually go to that um, particular phase because it'll take that long to design, permit, and implement. Well, um, I'm not particularly concerned when you retire. I'm no, concerned with the taxpayers now and in the future. Right. Um, and, and so I understand that this is born out of a basically a problem statement that was derived from the famous well, peer study, right? No. It, it is, and I, please don't well classify it as a problem statement. Pursuant to the rules that we operate under with the EPA and DES, every five to seven years, based upon growth in a town, you're supposed to look at your facility, and that's why they call it a 201 facility study. You're supposed to look top to bottom, left to right, everything from electrical to uh, air quality issues to fire sprinkler systems to... I understand Even if you have yeah. so every seven years you look at that. Now these things that are some some of the major things that are in phase one were also in the previous report that was laid out six or seven years, two thousand six, and even one or two of them are in the report from nineteen eighty eight. So these are the same what they did in eighty eight and has warned us that we'd need aeration lagoons someday. Two thousand six said you're going to need aeration lagoons. Pretty soon, 2017, you need them now. Mm -hmm. So this has not been a um, unpredicted occurrence. It has. I wasn't suggesting it was. Okay. But this 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 Warren article is in, designed to be a solution to some to problem the, to statement. This portion right? of the problem. Okay. Is correct. And, and, and and the problem comes from the PS report, right? It was identified. Which is defined. The, right. the parameters of the problem is defined in the PS report. Right. And this is a solution to part of that problem definition. Correct. Right? Okay. Now, you spoke about uh, capacity. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and I, I remember watching you in a previous board selectment meeting, I believe, and you spoke about the growth of, at the beach having making, made significant contributions to the increase in capacity. Sure. And that was related to the high-rises, correct? Uh, to the density, Primarily. yes, to the overall density of what we're building. Right. Yes. <coughs> and uh, what I would note, Mr. Chairman, is that time and again when those high-rises were getting approved, getting special exemptions from the zoning laws, we were told time and again that it would have no impact on any infrastructure. None. And yet, here we sit. Mm -hmm. Also, Another problem with the capacity is the the content of the pollutants that are being uh, right. input into your system, correct? Two issues, quantity, overall quantity, number of gallons. Like, for instance, if you looked at the report, our op we track our operating parameters every single day, every single hour. Uh -huh. We summarize those in a report that we then have to turn in monthly. Right now, this time of year, we're averaging 2 million gallons a day. It's almost like clockwork. It'll be 1.97, 2.032, 2.1. It it's holds steady. July 4th weekend, it's 4 million gallons. 
So it's during the summer, it's due to the influx of other people in the community. Primarily the Our visitors, our, our day visitors, our week visitors, our long-term visitors. Our summer residents. Our summer residents, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's also due to um, the, uh, the all the industrial users that we have. We have four or five. They send us more waste. More and, pollutants, and some, particularly. Right? And, and some of it stronger waste. Right. right. And that, that, that is very costly, isn't it? Both of them are. Right, but they're having an intense, like right. the brewery is one example of that, isn't it? Exactly. And, and is there not an ability now to measure and tax them for the excessive pollutants that they're discharging? There is, but let me okay. let me Thank give you. you a parallel to that. The police department has the ability to speed, to find people speeding. <coughs> does that make people, does that make everybody slow down? Does me. Does you? But when I come Doesn't down, you you ignore when, the police. I don't know. When I come police. down ninety five no, no. every morning, <laughs> I can tell you the number of people. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter to. So yes, I could. In, I could ask the selectmen as the sewer commissioners to put a surcharge on high strength loads. Thank you. That's BOD. all I wanted to know. Okay, but is it going to stop the BOD from coming? No, and the recommended thing has been forty two dollars per. Hundred pounds of BOD, and please it won't don't ask stop me it from how to coming, but it will enable you to have funds to address it that you don't have now. Correct? Not in relation to the changes, not in proportion to the changes that need to occur. But it will have you. It will give you more funds. Give me a few and fines. Yeah, it will give you more funds, and that's the point. The only point I wanted to make. I didn't want to say that it would make up for the whole Warren article. Not suggesting that for one second. Okay. Well, Just sort of a disclaimer. Well, I'm not suggesting that. I appreciate okay. it, but you you have to understand that when these things get raised if they're not fully right, and I, or explained. I just other... acknowledge that, and I, I, I'm Thank not you. suggesting it's a full solution of any kind, okay? okay. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I would say that uh, uh, we have a more detailed presentation coming to the planning board subsequently. This is a big thing, okay? Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would like to see this table to a subsequent meeting of the Budget Committee before we decide to recommend or not recommend. I think because I we, will be, we will be better informed at that later date than we are presently. I want to clarify And that's the reason I want to do that. And I want to point out also that last year, yeah. last year we had a $13 million uh, Warren article for sewer pipes across the marsh. Hurry up, we got to do it. The world's going to come to an end if we don't do it. Right? Kind of, sort of like this. Hurry up, we got to do it. The world's going to come to an end if we don't do it. And we just conformed and we said, okay, fine, it's an emergency, let's just go do it. And then we came to find out later that it wasn't so much of an emergency, it wasn't even so much of a present problem. In fact, last night the Board of Selectmen voted to not put that same warrant article on, okay? I would like to speak on this. On, that, on, on this year's warrant, all right? And I could say more on that, but I don't want to because I want to stay on this particular point. <coughs> we have the time to address this at a subsequent meeting when we have a better opportunity to be better informed and that's what I'm asking the chair to do is just table this. I'm not opposed to it, but I'd like to have more information before I actually make a recommendation. Okay, are you finished? Thank you, Mr. Chair. You're welcome. I'm not going to table this. I didn't think so. Okay. We have, after this, after tonight, we're, we're getting towards the end, you know, very close to the end. And if there's something that comes up, Tim, that is, um, that changes your mind or adds so much information, if you know, people watch tomorrow night and other meetings as well, then when we do our, um, on January 9th, when we have our final budget review, then at that point, changes can be made, okay? I agree that more information is best, uh, but but we're not going to table this tonight, okay? Sonny, you've had your hand up for a while. Yeah. Please, okay. go ahead. He had I I've learned that, that what, no, I know what it is. He goes like the water. All right. It's got beer in it. Yeah. <laughs> we watched the water park on last night because it's Dancing with the Stars wasn't on, so we looked for other entertainment. Chief Soy made a presentation. He had visuals. Did you see him? Yes. I have watched yeah. it. Yes. I, mean, I thought that was tremendous. You know, I don't know how many people in town actually watch, but I mean, that's, you know, my recommendation is you have to. Present the we're gonna. We are doing as part of 
some of the additional information that yeah. we explained tomorrow night yeah. is that, and we explained to the selectmen Monday night, is that we're going to do approximately 10 to 15 videos dealing with these various aspects, try and keep them less than, I think it was 5 to 10, about 5, five but no longer than piece, 10, yeah. mm -hmm. so that people can watch these and and come to grips with that, A, what it actually looks like inside the plant, and B, why these processes or these projects are necessary. I mean, to give you, for instance, the th all the wastewater in the town dumps into what we call the headworks, large swimming pool. It's pumped out of there by three pumps that have been running continuously, the same three pumps, since 1974. One of them threw a bearing last week. Um, so now we're down to two. <coughs> During the summer, I need all three. We have some very aged infrastructure within the plant, and that's what hopefully <coughs> these video clips will clarify or show the people. We're not dreaming this up. It, it was reported in the 88 facility study, the 2006. This is not a pipe dream. This is reality. We have met the end of our capacity. Um, and the other half of that rule is if we, if for this coming summer we break 80% of our BOD for 90 days in a row, DES then has the authority to start issuing all of our discharge permits. I will no longer have the authority. Um, I don't think we want to go that way. I think we'd like to maintain local control. And, and I'd like to be able to sit and keep issuing letters to the pl projects that come before the planning board to say that we do have the capacity or well have the capacity when this comes online. That's it. No, I, I totally agree. You know, uh, these warrant articles are going to be bond issues. There, there's about $41 million are spread out over the three but I understand we're only borrowing 13 now, and, and yeah, no, I'm well aware. Spread that over 30 years. Yeah. I, don't I know. mean, the big thing is DES is looking over your shoulder because you had the leak last year, <coughs> and they, they had the, the you know they, they shut the beach down because you're over the 80 percent. You know, well, let's be clear. As yet, we continue to to discharge water that does meet their requirements. Very low. Uh, uh, very clean water, very low fecal count, very clean water. So we are continuing, but we are using more and more chemicals every year, norm, mainly chlorine, yeah. uh, to achieve that. Because yeah. one of the issues I had was when, they, when the town rushed to authorize a hotel on Exeter Road and there was a restriction on the deed, no hotel, they waived it and they rammed it through. Then they found out that Liberty Lane has the water and their wastewater side by side, and now Aquarium is going to do that. And I suspect Liberty Lane will get an abatement. So the end result was the taxpayers. Sonny, we've been over this before. I realize, okay. but I mean, if we're not aware, the we're public's not aware of it. It's not that's not we've true. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold what on. Mean it's not true. Hold on, hold on, order. Okay, we've been over that before. Let's stick with what we're talking about here. Right. Well, you're talking lane. about capacity of the wastewater treatment plant, and you'll be over 80% when you have 150 cars parked on Exeter Road. They're going to park in front. Uh, never mind where they're going to be parking. Um, <laughs> <All right. laughs> it was well, runoff, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can okay. I say one thing? Hold on, hold on. Sonny, we have talked about this before. That's right. Okay, so... And unless Please. you keep talking about it, the public doesn't become aware you, of it. You certainly keep bringing up Liberty Land. I know we've talked about it several times. Um, Regina, you wanted to say something? I just wanted to say this $13.8 million Warren article, is, although it's presented in this report as three phases, it does, definitely does not mean three years. I'll tell you that right now. Hmm. And like Chris and Jen said, whenever it might be time to start phase two, phase two is going to be completely different than it is right now. This is this is thirteen point eight million dollars that has been pushed aside right. and for I'm, far too long. I'm not done for far ahead. too long, and the marsh pipe is a priority. But guess what? It's not the top priority right now because now we have this one, which is bigger. 
So when you ignore infrastructure for 30, 40, 50 years, this is what happens. It all gets into a ball and rolls up and explodes on you all at one time. So the Board of Selectmen didn't feel comfortable asking the voters for $18 million or what it would have been in for the two of them put together. So the way we look at it, and it's a pretty logical way, or the way I look at it, I'm not going to speak for the board, is that if we're going to go out there and fix the pipes that are connected to something that's drastically failing, it doesn't make sense. You want to work in and go out. So this $13.8 million is the start of a lot of work that the town has to get done. Thank you. Steve, hold, hold on, hold on. Everybody's got something to say. I do, too. The, having read this book, um, right now the, this first part is the stuff that is priority major has to be done now. The second part, by the time you get to it, that'll probably be priority major has to be done now. The stuff that's in the third part <coughs> that doesn't seem to be a problem right now, by the time we get to it, that'll probably be the priority major stuff that has to be done right now. And another thing I want to mention is that having read this entire book from cover to cover, um, the, the industrial amount. Uh, the, there are a couple of things going on that I want to add because it's not just going to be uh, a hotel on Liberty Lane. The, the uh, infiltration from the clay pipes, we talked about that the last time you were here, okay? Lots and lots of water. Millions of gallons of salt water going in, changing so that you end up, it, it ends up messing up the polymer uh, that yep. you add that that chemistry is changing. The other thing is that in this book it talks about up to 40 percent of what's going into that uh, surge treatment plant is from industries like brazonics, uh, the uh, FOSS, FOSS, as well as Smutty Nose. And it seems to me, having read this thing, that <coughs> brazonics was the biggest that sends to you. It's 20 percent. Uh, yeah, it was 40 percent in here. It was like 10 percent from FOSS, 10 percent from uh, the smutty nose and 20% from Brazonix. I was <coughs> quite surprised. I didn't even, I don't even know where Brazonix is. I didn't realize that, you know, that that much industry, but that's good. Industry is good. But I just wanted to point that out. So having said all that, David, go ahead, please. Thank you. I have a number of questions. Sure. Number one, I'm completely behind what you need to do. Thank you. It needs to be done. And that's kind of a tragedy that we, I have to do it all at once so we don't have all this money. But if you're saying if it blows up, we're going to be really in a bad situation. Question number one. <clears throat> when this work is now being done, how many – have we put this out to bids? We've already been no, through the process? We haven't. We have not been so, through design or bid yet. So you don't, that's that's a step to come. Correct. So part of this money that's going to be going, we know that we're going to – I'm making this up. We're going to go up to three different companies. There yes. may only be three companies out there that do this work. I don't know. But pretend it's three companies. Yeah. Then you're going to try to give the same thing to them, and then you'll be evaluating them and look at the costs and all that. So that's yes. a 2B thing, right? Yes. Thank you. Second thing, what I, a little bit from data processing background, what I hear tonight is making me very uncomfortable in the sense of I know it needs to be done, but when you talk about phase two, which needs to be done, and phase three needs to be done, you really need to put in place, which it sounds like you don't have one, or we don't have one, and I don't, I, I don't know this, so it's more of a question, please. A strategic plan from the beginning of what we want to do from stage one, which is this, to stage two, which now by the time we get to stage three, it's so strategic, it's five plus years out, you can't predict it. Right. But there should be something there with concepts you want to do, but you've got to reevaluate that when you get closer to the date. But that also needs to be on a big project plan. And it needs to be updated monthly. Along with that, on phase one, which you have here for the $13 million, if I'm going to be the company you sent it to, we need to have a project plan on listing each one of those things on that list and all the other things, where they need to be on this project plan that has every one of these things to be built by whom with what day. Because as you get into closer, I need B, C, and X to help L and O, and by that time they get in, you know, something over here. So you need a plan, and it sounds like there isn't one, that's going to show how all these infrastructures are going to eventually work together harmoniously versus getting to this point here and saying, you know, we should have done this back then, but we didn't put it in the plan, and all of a sudden we have to stop. I'm making that up. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not seeing, 
a large plan. I'm saying we have $14 million, and I know the thing has to be done. Right. I'm not arguing. I, I, I think it's a huge undertaking, and it's a huge thing on your shoulders, both of you with your entire department. <coughs> right. But I think when you show it to us, or show it to a person like me, I need to know where that $13 million is going to go. Somewhere. <coughs> And in order of the needs and what the things are. And what does each piece cost? You got a gravity thicker? Good to know. You got a plant water system? Good to know. I don't know anything about that. You do. But section, you examples. section four has the actual breakdown by in millions. Right. Um, but we need to put as those far as, coordinated. For instance, some of the projects like let's say I'll pick the polymer system upgrade because it's literally no bigger than the size of your desk. Right. Can be done standalone from the aeration lagoons because those are two big bathtubs attached. So yes, as part of the, for, we are going for uh, state revolving loan fund money, or at least that's the latter half of this Warren article gives the selectmen the authority to go for it, which is the, uh, it's the, the sewer grant money underwritten by the state, controlled by the state. They will mandate for that, show us your flow chart. And part of the design work will be from whomever does the final designs, will be to actually determine that flow chart. Without that, we won't get approval from DES yeah. to do any of these projects. Because so they're not going to let us replace something that then we rip out that they, no, they won't let, that will not happen. That is part of this plan. So I think it's very important for everybody to understand, and again, we're here asking for the Warren article for this phase one, but phase one consists of the design, the putting this all together, looking at what is individual, what goes together, what's to make sure we don't need something in phase two that we're not going to do twice. That, that is all part of this and stuff that our engineers have already taken we into account. We should have account. a project plan now showing where we could get, get, theoretically get, need the design by the warrant is approved this date, designed by this, this contract here, put the bids out. They should be something like that. That's good That's a good one. That is yeah. good. Now, That's along a with that, what, what you brought up, and I've heard this from other people, is reference to the smutty nose. I was probably hearing misinformation, but when I was talking to somebody last week and at, at the meeting, we talked about smutty nose, the amount of flow, no, not only the thickness of their grade, super thick fraps, or whatever you want to call them, but it comes down versus water that's rather thin and clean with all the, I'll, I'll call it sludge for that lack of a better term. It's mm -hmm. not sludge, but I'll call it sludge. Mm -hmm. And I heard <clears throat> prior to this, and I talked to somebody else in town, that was within the town hall. And the person that they've not only doubled the output that normally we flow, flow which whatever that might be, it was the fact they've done triple that. So that, no, no I'm the only telling you what I heard. No, this information. That, in fact, I have an email on my computer. They're permitted right now to their industrial discharge permit of 15,000 gallons per day. Per day. They've been averaging 11. Yeah. So they have not doubled flow. Good. They do have some peak days where they may bounce to 17, but then the next day is a 9 or an 8. So when you look at it, no, they have not tripled. There was also talk that I heard about that potentially they'll be the best way to charge the, some of these costs because the industries where I heard we were thinking 40% FOSS and the other company, whatever, industry, which you want to do, Tom, absolutely right. correct. But if they have a triple or whatever for the average citizen, and you, and you can do it with a water meter, how much water you use, I guess, with aquarium. But there was talk about, it may not be, but it should be fair usage for volume. And if you go with a certain amount of excess, people should be, and you also talk about the thickness of, it's harder to process this chemical coming out of such as smutty nose through the aeration that I heard because of the, the type of material it is and all that. Right should now, there be a surcharge of some nature? There can be it. That is something that's in the capital, uh, the CI facility study, capital reserve fund, getting my acronyms swirled together. Um, you're right, there is something in that report that does talk about a BOD load can be charged, or they're recommending a charge of $42 per 100 pounds of BOD. We can determine that by literally grab, grabbing samples out of the pump station that l eventually leads to the plant. 
and we can we can back charge them. Um, that is something that the board of selectmen, as the sewer commissioners, would have to uh, pass and then direct me to enforce. So that's a potential that that is might a potential. be able to happen yes. through the board of selectmen, whatever appropriate. I'm not right. saying we'd do it in the, in the financial board. I'm but to reiterate, that alone would not fix these priority needs. That Understood. Need to be but done. I also, I in the future, sure we're gonna, we just, we've just got a $28 or $30 million school mm -hmm. going up here. Right. You've got a $41 million sewage project here. Mm -hmm. And what we don't, matter of fact, the police chief, the last time he was here, surprised me when he was talking about the leaking of the new system, that is the new facility for the police station, like 10, 11 years old, and it's leaking everywhere. Well, you're built it on a swamp. I said that from the beginning, you know, X number of years ago, but the bottom line is we build things and then about six months later, oh, they didn't do this right, they didn't do that right. And all of a sudden we obviously have to fix these things, which is fine. But at the same time, that's what I'm thinking, and just in reference to, like, the companies that utilize a lot, they ought to be taking their fair share versus putting on the right. average John Q system. That's my only point I'm trying to all. make at all. Correct. So it, it's a huge undertaking, <coughs> and I, I'm with you 100% to go forward. Were my questions fair? Yeah. 100%. To the Thank point you. and succinct. Thank you. Thank you. All set, David? Okay, I just want to mention, and um, I believe Smuddy Nose does some type of pretreatment. Is that correct? They do. Okay. And that's how they've that's, been able to stay so that's something, below David, the 15,000 gallons. A piece of information that you may not have known, and this is the guy that's going to give you the, instead of, you know, stuff that you've heard, they actually pretreat. That's why that I was, brought it to him. Right, and that was one of the conditions when they de when they right. designed their, that plant was to take into consideration what the load's going to be on on the town of Hampton to help so, them meet their permit requirements. They're right. currently pre holding back portions of their waste to what they call an equalization tank. They're offloading it and bringing it to another wastewater treatment plant that needs the BOD. Okay, so that's, that's how they're yeah, that's they're meeting their current. Permit standards. So interesting. Yeah, it is Piece interesting because they're, yep. uh, another facility needs this to activate their own, you know, get this oxida uh, oxidation and, and right. chemical reaction start going. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, um, is that this Wright Pierce um, study, it actually does have, it's a three part plan. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, you kind of indicated, David, that this beginning and then, you know, well, we, do we really know what the rest of the plan is? Yeah, the whole plan's in here. I understand it, but I'm listening to the words that were said earlier tonight. Okay. We and talked about, I don't know what the second phase is, and then the third phase, who know whatever, okay. and I might be retired. Next question, when are you planning on retiring? Ten years. Okay. So it'll be done before you retire. It'll be done before you retire, oh, I hope. We'll, we'll <laughs> see, maybe. But, but the point I wanted to make is that they do have an overall plan. Okay, it's good. it's going to change, of course, as time goes by. There's going to be things that are there may be there may be operational changes that, you know, that, that's that affect the future. this plan. That's the yeah. future. Okay, so any um, anybody else have any comments, uh, Mr. Jones? Yeah, I would say you have an idea. You don't have plans. If you had plans, they'd be design plans. Design. That's what plans are to me. But you have an idea. All right. And so how are you going to approach phase one? Part of phase one is producing design plans, right? So there's a distinction in my mind. I do not oppose this. In fact, I would point out to Regina that last year I supported the Marsh sewer pipes, as you may recall. But there were those who were not in favor of them um, and who were expressing concerns about the health of the sewer treatment plant. And they were told uh, by certain selectmen, for example, and management, that those arguments were basically vacuous at best. And now we're hearing quite the opposite, which I find very interesting. Furthermore, I would also point out that two years ago, before you arrived on, on, on the board of selectmen, we had a DPW subcommittee. And uh, that DPW subcommittee wanted to get into, as you may recall, Chris, they wanted to get into the wastewater treatment plant and get detailed information because there was concern about the health of the wastewater treatment plant. Management denied that access. So yeah, I am I'm aware of the problem that in general. And I'm also aware that the pipes probably are secondary. But this smells from a political point of view a lot like the pipes last year. Oh it's an emergency, hurry up and do it, don't bother looking too closely. Just pass it. 
Right. I want to look more closely. That's where I'm coming from, Regina. I do not oppose it. I'm, I'm as open-minded as I was last year regarding the sewer pipes. In fact, I think this is probably a better approach to the sewer, than the sewer pipes were last year. There's a stronger argument for it. But still, there's more information I want to have before I make a recommendation to the voters whether to vote for it or not. That's thank you, fine. Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. Anybody else have any comments, questions? Seeing none, those uh, in favor of this Warren article, please raise your hands. We have um, everyone in favor, those opposed, and those abstaining. I'm opposed. Okay, Tim Jones is opposing, everybody else approved. Tim, do you have something to... Yes, uh, like even to though say? I was opposed on the last, I'm inclined to support it ultimately and call for a revote when I get more information, okay? 